Welcome to Computer Retro Bus. In the early 2000s, there was one big debate, Windows 98 or Windows XP. People swore that Windows 98 was faster, had less overhead. In this video, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison to find out if that was true. So we're gonna use the same hardware, same games, and same benchmarks to see what the difference really was. So even in the year 2000, a lot of home users were still using Windows 98. It was the home user operating system, as it were and the NT-based ones were the more professional ones. So even when Windows 2000 did come out, which was a fantastic operating system, not a lot of people moved to it. They stayed with 98. Hardware was also an issue. Hardware demands, software and hardware were developing so quickly and it wasn't becoming more and more demanding on the hardware as well. So people sometimes stayed with 98, not by choice. People that were into games tended to hang on to 98 a little bit longer because 98 was seen as the gamer's operating system and we thought it was a bit more lighter, it didn't have as much overhead as the newer NT-based ones like 2000 and XP. So I'm going to have Windows 98 and Windows XP installed on the same box and we're going to run some benchmarks and tests and see was there an overhead penalty to running Windows XP to Windows 98. Stick around and see. We'll start by opening up this awesome box. This is my P3 box, I love this thing. Open it up and have a look inside what we've got. This is one of my favorite retro errors. The P2, P3 error was one of my faves. This is not a slot one, unfortunately. I love the slot one CPUs the most. It's pretty hard to get the higher frequency slot one processors like the P3, slot one, 1000 megahertz. Good luck trying to find one of those. When I first got this, a marketplace as usual, it was actually a Pentium 733, but I did manage to get hold of a 933 chip. So I upgraded it and yeah, it's been running awesome ever since. I love this thing. Let's have a look inside. Okay, let's have a more detailed look at our test bed. So we have a Pentium 3 933 underneath that cooler. The motherboard is from DFI. It is uh, running a via Apollo Pro chipset. So not Intel, Intel was probably a little bit better, but uh, this is not too bad either. For video card, we have a GeForce 2 Ultra beast of a card for the day. This was great, I love this card. Also have a network card so I can copy stuff over from my NAS. And on the sound card front, we have a ISA Sound Blaster Vibra 16. Uh, PCI would be better, but I've put an ISA card in here just for DOS compatibility. I primarily use this box for Windows 98 and a little bit of DOS gaming. So I have a 40 gigabyte Seagate hard drive in this, which I have a clone of here. So I'll plug that up as well. So one of them will be running Windows 98 and the other will be running Windows XP. So we have equal footing on both hard drives. So this system is based on the year 2000. We just survived the Y2K bug and everything was looking great. So if you're doing pretty well for yourself, you had, you had this. You had a Pentium 3 933 megahertz with a GeForce 2 Ultra, 256 megs of RAM at 133 megahertz and a Seagate 40 gigabyte hard drive. On the driver's side, I'm going for the GeForce 45.23. Now these drivers are both available for Windows XP and for Windows 98. So it gives us a nice even playing ground. So the operating systems we're using today are Windows 98 Second Edition. This actually came out in 1999. So it was really touted as the more consumer, home grade operating system that was pushed more for gamers. That's what you'd use. And the NT kernel based operating systems were more for professionals. So like the Windows 2000s and the NTs. Even when Windows 2000 came out, they pushed out the dreaded Windows ME. So they were still keeping them quite separate. But it all changed with Windows XP. And the Windows XP version I'm using is the original release that was released in 2001. So no service pack. I'm trying to keep them as close as possible so we can have a real realistic comparison of which way we would go. The one brilliant thing about Windows XP was that it had so many drivers included. Look at this, this is a fresh install and not one error in the device manager. Everything just works. But I went ahead and installed the latest drivers anyway. So I updated the via chipset drivers and also got the same GeForce drivers that we're using for Windows 98. Okay, so let's kick things off with 3D Mark 2000. I'm gonna use 2000 because this is the year that we're aiming for. And you can see Windows 98 right off the bat is a little bit more, a little bit better in the frames. Not by much, I reckon it's maybe 5%, I'd say. Looking at this helicopter demo, you can see it's sort of, yeah, it's always about five to 10 frames higher than the Windows XP. Now moving to the higher detail one. Uh, the higher detail is even closer still. The Windows 98 seems to always be ahead by at least a frame. I don't see it ever drop below Windows XP. 
but it's not a drastic increase. Looking at the adventure test, it's pretty much neck and neck. Uh, this one's really close as well. Windows 98, a head by a frame or two, nothing significant at all. So looking at the final results, it's no surprise. Looking at those frame counters, they are pretty close with Windows 98 ahead by not too much. It's only, there's only 100 points in it really. Now let's move to some real world examples, starting with the awesome Unreal and its iconic opening. This is one of those epic gaming moments, the first time you saw this back in 98. This castle fly through, still, I love it still today. Um, looking at the frames, again, neck and neck, very close. Seems to have a 60 cap on the frames, which it hits when it reaches the peak and there's not much geometry, but when it goes down into the details, going down into the fog, it does drag back down into the 40s but again the frame rates are so close there is not much in it at all talking one or two frames to windows 98 here going on to colin mccray rally now rally games were so huge back then they were awesome great fun and looking at the frame rates it's pretty much neck and neck as well again windows 98 ahead by a couple of frames but nothing significant Sometimes it does jump to about five to six frames higher, but um, still, both are very playable. Okay, and back to the Unreal world with Unreal Tournament. We'll start with the intro sequence, which is exactly the same, so we can make a real direct comparison. This was such a fun game. I had so many late nights playing this multiplayer against friends. But looking at the comparison, again, neck and neck, Windows 98 ahead by a frame or two at best. But playing the actual game itself felt no different. It was it's because the frame rates are so close, they felt exactly the same. I really couldn't perceive the difference when playing the game on different operating systems. And it's impossible to do a direct comparison. Every game is obviously going to be different. And moving on to our last game, which is Return to Castle Wolfenstein. So this game was released in 2001. It's built on the Quake 3 engine. And looking at our results, very much neck and neck. Same picture we've been seeing throughout this whole test, really. No surprises, the frame counters are one or two apart really. Both very playable on this hardware. So there we have it, it was very close. Uh, much closer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I really expected Windows 98 to have a little bit more of an edge than it did. Um, I mean, back in the day, oh my God, the amount of arguments in forums and flame wars that you had, people were pretty passionate about these sorts of things. But that being said, uh, hardware may be a factor. This is a more faster system for that era. Um, maybe if you had a 450, 500 megahertz, maybe it would struggle a little bit more, not sure. Maybe there's a future test that I can do. But with this particular box, this particular configuration, 98 barely had an advantage. So it was really up to you if you wanted to run 98 or XP, you weren't gonna get that much performance by staying with 98. Um, you did get much more stability with XP, but um, 98 was just a little bit more lightweight, a bit more classic. Um, you know, for us in the retro scene, it doesn't really matter. For us, it's more about the operating system and how it makes you feel. I mean, it's, it's about the memories that you made, which operating system did you grow up with. I think they're probably more critical factors for us. Um, so depending on which area you grew up in, uh, you're probably gonna favor some more than others. For me, Windows 98 is a little bit more closer to my heart. Windows 98 was when things were really changing. DirectX was getting better. The hardware was getting better. The software, the games, everything was changing at such a rapid pace. Uh, and just, you know, getting together with your friends and playing multiplayer games, playing network games. It was just, wow, amazing times. So, it, uh, you know, I've got such fond memories of 98, I guess. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with XP. Again, it's all about how it makes you feel and the great memories that it hopefully brings back for all of us. Not to say that Windows 98 didn't have a dark side. It used to corrupt pretty easily. And I did end up in certain situations where I had to do a format and reinstall many times. It got to the stage where I was actually doing an annual one. I'd back up everything, clean it up, and just do a fresh install. So everything would just run better again. It tended to feel like it was getting clogged over time as you installed and uninstalled stuff. But that's how it was. You love it, warts and all. But it was great to do this experiment and find out um, if there really was a difference. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Take care, and I hope to see you in the next one.